level. And you just feel like you're floating on air. I wish I could find this more often. 20 subjects have volunteered for Hoffler's study. Marcus Scrivener has developed unique strategies to help him concentrate. The first thing people tell you to listen to if you're going to prepare for a match is classical music or, you know, Kenny G. But um, it doesn't work for me for some reason. This, this heavier stuff just w makes me kind of tune out everything out. I'll have a song in my head and I'll pick up the rifle. And as soon as I drop my head, the song stops. I'll break the shot, and someone hits the pause button again, pick up right where I left off. I guess it's just kind of a way of um, keeping your conscious mind busy. And then all of a sudden switches its focus. And then as soon as it's done performing its job, then it can go back to, you know, being distracted. To better understand the minds of skilled marksmen, Hofbler is comparing their brain waves with novice marksmen. I'm thinking about holding still and thinking about keeping my, my breathing regular and up in, in the moments before firing, not breathing, trying to keep my left arm and my elbow still. A little bit of movement there really moves the gun around and, and keeps me off of t the target. When I see all of the missed shots, I begin to get a little discouraged and wonder if I'm ever gonna hit the target. Psychologists have analyzed the thoughts of athletes for many years. But brain waves provide an objective view of their mental states. Working with her colleague, Brad Hatfield, Amy Hoffler looks for patterns in the waveforms. When we collect the brain activity from the scalp, it's a very complex waveform. And in order to, to bring some meaning to that, we, we do a mathematical process called a Fourier analysis, which breaks that complex waveform into its, its component parts. Each waveform is comprised of several frequencies. With the mathematics, they can determine the magnitude of each frequency at every site on the head. That mathematical analysis enables us to look at the relative activity of different areas of the brain. Lower frequencies tell us the brain is at rest. High frequencies tell us that that area of the brain is very active. To locate active areas, Hatfield and Hoffler select higher frequencies and average them for each marksman to find patterns of activity. Yeah, you can definitely see the greater activation of the left hemisphere here, mm -hmm. much more pronounced than over here in the right. Because we know that different processes are associated with different areas of the brain, then we can make some assumptions about what kinds of mental processes are occurring. Verbal tasks are processed on the left side above the ear. Tasks involving space and movement are handled on the right. Emotions appear at the front, while visual processing is at the back of the head. Yeah. See By comparing the results of each skill group, Hatfield and Hoffler find differences in their mental states. 
Five seconds before trigger pull, the tension of the novice is active in all areas. It continues to build until the gun is fired. Five seconds before trigger pull, the brain of a skilled marksman is less active than the novice and remains so until the gun is fired. The people who are at the low end of the skill level would show increased activation in the left hemisphere where they're thinking too much about what they do. They have to start at that stage. As the elite athlete focuses on the target, all they call into play is what helps them to perform the task. Okay, six minutes, 45, and then the triggers for the shots, that's right Hoffler there. and Hatfield believe okay. that when athletes train their bodies, they train their minds as well. They hope that measuring this process will help athletes learn to do it more efficiently. Perhaps if an athlete could see what their brain waves look like, and if we know a pattern that is connected to a high performance state, then maybe they would be able to develop those patterns to improve their performance. It's really interesting to see how my brain waves are compared to other shooters. Maybe they do something differently that might help me in the future. Brain waves are signals from a world hidden behind a veil of complexity. Using mathematics, scientists are deciphering these signals to better understand the mysteries beyond. That's the beauty of mathematics. It, it takes nature and breaks it down into some simple principles. And that's exactly what we're trying to do in our work with the mind, a very complex organ. In this age of technology, mathematics is everywhere. It helps us to understand what we could once only imagine. In the world of sports, mathematics is working at every level. Helping athletes who strive for perfection to achieve their goals and fulfill their dreams, whatever they may be.